Hello! We have all sorts of energies going on right now. Um, I think the main thing to focus on is we have this first quarter moon. So the sun is in Aquarius, the moon is in Taurus. So there's a bit of push and pull. It's a little like every first or third quarter moon, the energy is just, they're, they're literally, uh, the astronomical bodies are pulling us in two different directions. Like as if here we are, one is pulling us this way, one is pulling us this way. So what does this mean? It means, especially since Moon is in Taurus and we have Uranus in Taurus too, this is a great time to focus on the practical and to utilize this tension to help us to move forward. Maybe we need to have some kind of brand new idea or breakthrough. That was uh, what I experienced today. It was some practical tension. I was like, ah, oh, man, I really need to become more practical. I need to be able to take care of the basic necessities in life. How am I going to do that? Uh, what is my method? And now it's like, oh, great. Yeah, I'm going to finish this book I'm working on. Okay, cool. Of the different uh, astrological interpretations. So whatever breakthrough it is that you need, whether it's mental or physical, or it's, a, it's likely that it's going to be a combination during this time. Um, that's, that's the best way to use any kind of uh, quarter transit is to, to build on that, that tension, to utilize that tension, to recognize that if you're experiencing tension, it just means that you need to, sorry, asthma. <laughs> it just means that you need to reorganize things a bit and to, <clears throat> especially with the current energies, to clarify what it is exactly you need to have your main focus on. That's a little bit tricky too because we have transiting Venus and Mars uh, in a mutable sign and they're both emotional too. So Venus is in Pisces, Mars is in Sag. They're both like everywhere. Venus is like, oh, I just want to experience true love and I just want to have an amazing relationship and, and relationships in general. And that's good. That's no, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but that's taking us, again, same thing. From the vantage point of Earth, here's Earth in the center. You know, Venus is going that way and, and Mars is going that way. Or, you know, from our perspective, it's like pulling us in those two different directions. So, um, so we have that. And then we have the Mars and Sagittarius saying, let's have as much fun as possible. Let's enjoy, let's travel, let's learn, let's grow. Let's... And that's good too. There's nothing wrong with that. But again, it's, it's a bit of a challenge. Um, like, like everything in astrology, it's, it's not about, there's no such thing as a good or a bad energy or anything like that. It's just about making it all work. Not making it, but like finding a way to make it work. So um, yeah, there's a bit of tension in our uh, in, in earth uh, in our solar system from the vantage point of earth right now but if you utilize it like with every square energy because that's what these energies are it's uh, moon is square sun venus is square mars then you're going to be able to make some major progress in ways that wouldn't be possible with any other transit um i think that's the main thing for now just basically if things feel unstable just keep asking questions until you get answers that make you feel more stable that's that's the key and uh, if you want any help with that, as always, I'm doing readings. Again, feel free to get in uh, contact with me. I have some openings for this upcoming Monday. So if you like a, a reading on Monday, then yay, let's do it. Um, contact info and, and any info for the readings, feel free to ask me too, um, is uh, on my, on the, uh, blah, 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 on the about section of this YouTube video and in the bio section of my Instagram channel. All right, peace. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna, Infinite. <laughs> Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste.